what's going on guys it's death monk here quick video here for you guys uh as about all the things that uh, we have noticed since uh, uploading the videos of gameplay and various other things like that, including the Season 6 Battle Pass of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Season 6. Now, as well as the two new maps that were managed to get in multiplayer, there's actually been an update to a third map uh, that's been in um, Modern Warfare 2 since its inception. That'll be El Asilo, which is this image, as you guys are currently seeing on screen, of the main building itself with all now Halloween vibes. So as you guys can see, you've got like a rather interesting character sitting on top of the uh, building itself. There's fire, there's all Halloween type vibes um, everywhere throughout this map. So that's a really interesting little addition there. Also, if you pre-ordered Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 um, early or when the actual um, event actually happened, you did have the opportunity to pre-order and instantly unlock Zombie Ghost Operator Skin as part of the uh, pre-order. Now, as you guys can see, this is actually unlockable now and usable in-game in Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone, and it will carry forward into Modern Warfare 3 when that game launches. Also in the store at the moment, there's also a um, blueprint that you can actually purchase using COD points called Hyper Metal, and this is for the TR-76 Geist, which is a animated wrap um, camo. It's got universal wrap. It's animated. So I think it changes like a blue, then it changes into a red. So it's really cool wrap. I th thoroughly recommend getting it. I haven't um, purchased it myself yet, but um, if I do manage to get some, um, I might manage to get some gameplay at some point. Also earlier on today, um, the actual creator of the character Spawn actually met up with Joel Emsley, so called Todd McFarlane. And they were talking about how they actually brought Spawn to Call of Duty. Now, partway into this video, there was actually some hidden haunting rewards and roadmaps, if you will. Um, which I'll show you in a few moments. Um, which basically has like all the rewards that you can unlock as part of the haunting event, which is going to kick off the day after the Modern Warfare 3 open beta finishes. So that's going to be really exciting to look forward to, guys. If I manage to get the actual footage. So as you guys can see on the screen, uh, as part of the Redeem Captured Souls portion of the event, as part of Operation Nightmare, players and monsters you kill in-game will drop souls. Collect them in-game in exchange for rewards below. So as you guys can see, you've got classified intel as well, which is these main items right here, which we can assume is going to be part of a future update, but we'll have to wait and see. There's also further rewards at the bottom of the screen, so it looks like we're getting some sort of um, emblem, as well as a calling card, some double weapon XP, some sort of... Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Could be like a grenade or some description. We've also got a helicopter skin and a pistol, so that's really interesting there. As part of a mastery reward, so unlock any 10 items from this list, you actually earn an exclusive reward, which appears to be some sort of skin. I'm just going to play this little video a little bit further. So if you um, just keep spamming it like so, and you will come across this image of Al Masra, and this is part of the haunting Operation Nightmare in Warzone. So this is rather interesting. So as you guys can see, there's six different skins that are allegedly wanted. So you've got the Butcher, the Swamp Creature, the Pharaoh, a UFO, which is rather interesting, a Ghost Train, and Evil Spirits. And complete five of the six challenges to unlock this mastery reward, which appears to be for, if I'm not mistaken, the MP5 SD. But don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% sure exactly which gun this uh, weapon exactly is, but that looks really interesting. Um, is there much more to tell you guys? So it looks like something's going to be happening around the train tracks, presumably, in Warzone. So we'll have to wait and see what that's all about. If you go play a little bit further on, you will notice that it actually turns into like a black and red type image. So we'll have to work out what that's all about. But the, that looks pretty interesting. There's also another image of... Al Safo Quarry, Al Masra City, Al Malik Airport, Al Bagra Fortress. And if you go through a, a few frames later, there's actually further rewards or challenges to complete. 
Find a Reaper in Al Safa Quarry, find Spectre in Al Master City, find a Golden in our Bag of Fortress, find a Witch in Armalek Airport, which will give you that calling card at the bottom there. And if you go forward a few more frames, like so, you see these green glows. So we'll have to work out what that's all about, but that's really interesting. Let me know what you guys' views and thoughts of that. And also, finally, as you guys can see, I did mention briefly in one of my previous videos that there's actually a loading screen. Uh, which is currently locked in game at this present moment in time and is actually represents by this future uh, bundle that's going to be coming at some point to modern warfare 2 for dune apparently this like i said there is a loading screen currently in game but eventually uh, that's currently locked but eventually we'll, we'll see a future bun uh, bundle collaborating with dune in modern warfare 3 so one of you guys thoughts of this let me know in the comments like comment subscribe hit the notification bell so i'm not upload and i'll see you in the next one Peace out.